సెయింట్ ఆంథనీ హైస్కూల్లో ఘనంగా క్రిస్మస్ వేడుకలు జరిగాయి సెయింట్ ఆంథనీ హైస్కూల్ కొంపల్లి మరియు సుచిత్రలలో ఘనంగా క్రిస్మస్ వేడుకలు జరిగాయి విద్యార్థులు జీసస్ పుట్టుక మీద చిన్న నాటక ప్రదర్శన చేశారు విద్యార్థులు క్రిస్మస్ గురించి అనేక పాటలు మరియు నృత్య రూపకాలలో అందరినీ ఆకట్టుకున్నాయి అనంతరం ముఖ్య అతిథిగా విచ్చేసిన రేవ్ ఎఫ్ఆర్ డేవిడ్ రాజు విద్యార్థులకు చక్కటి క్రిస్మస్ సందేశాన్ని ఇచ్చారు జీసస్ మన అందరికీ ప్రేమ శాంతి సంతోషాన్ని దేవుని నుండి మనకు ఆయన పుట్టుక ద్వారా బహుమతిగా తీసుకువచ్చారు ఈ కార్యక్రమంలో పాఠశాల డైరెక్టర్ ఎన్పి సుందర్ రాజు అకాడమీ డైరెక్టర్ సరిత కొంపల్లి ప్రిన్సిపల్ షర్మిల క్రిస్టి ఉపాధ్యాయులు విద్యార్థులు పాల్గొన్నారు
that all of you have gathered here to celebrate. But I want to highlight the occasion, the meaning of celebrating Christmas. First of all, I want to give you a little story. There was a farmer, a wonderful man, he worked very hard, he planted paddy in his field. And when the harvest time came, he harvested the paddy. And he had a very, very big crop, big yield he had. And he put the paddy together into a big heap and it was late in the evening. So he covered it up and he stayed the night there thinking that he will gather all that into bags and take home next day morning. And he slept next to the heap of the paddy. Early morning he got up with the sounds of birds, sparrows and all kinds of birds. So when he got up he saw the birds eating the paddy and his instant response was to chase them away. But again he said, after all, how many, how much paddy can they eat? And God had, had blessed me with such a huge harvest. So let them eat. And he began to look at the sparrows and squirrels and sparrows, everything. And it was looking beautiful. They were taking each seed and pecking, removing the, and then eating the rice. So, the farmer was enjoying the birds making noise and eating the rice. And then he wanted to go a little closer and watch the birds. And he got up, but then all the birds flew away. They were afraid. And then the farmer began to tell himself, well, I wanted the birds to eat the paddy as much as they wanted, but they ran away. Why? I did not mean to do any harm to them. Again, he realized, perhaps I looked to the little birds like a mountain and they got scared of me, frightened of me, and they flew away, he said. You know the meaning of this story? If God remains in the heavens only, and he begins to talk to us, well, we do not understand. If God is born among us, just like any one of us, then we understand God. We will not be frightened of God anymore because He is looking like us. Then we become friends with God. That is why God became man among us. Jesus, God be was born in the form of Jesus and came among us. And that is the meaning of this feast. God is one among us. Not God is not above, below, but is with us. Jesus said, wherever two or three gathered in my name, I am there in the midst of them. So God is in our midst, God is with us wherever we are. No matter who we are, how we are, God is with us. And 
In Luke's Gospel, chapter 4, verse 18, Jesus, when he grew up, he said, I am sent to proclaim the kingdom of God to all and redeem all people. That was what Jesus said. His mission, his goal is to redeem us from sin. Sin distance us from God. But Jesus came into the world to destroy sin and unite us once again with God. He wants us to be his children. So the mission of Jesus, the purpose of Jesus in the world is to redeem us, to proclaim the kingdom of God to us. My dear children, if I ask you, what is your goal? What would you say? What is your goal? What do you want to achieve in life? What do you say? You know, I worked in African countries for several years, for 13 years. I worked in Kenya, Zimbabwe, South Africa for 13 years. I used to ask the students there, the African students, what is your goal 